lesson number 15 our body can you tell what are these children doing which parts of their body are they using can you tell point out the parts of the body named below forehead cheek nose and ear tummy chest arm wrist palm thigh knee foot structure of the body the head torso arms and legs are the main parts of the body the head arms and legs are joined to the torso head the head is covered with hair below the forehead are two eyes with eyebrows and eyelashes on the sides are the ears in front is the nose below the nose is the mouth and below that the chin the part that joins the head to the torso is the neck torso the chest abdomen and back together make up the torso the part where the arm is joined to the torso is called the shoulder the leg is joined to the torso at the hip joint arm the arm has three parts upper arm forearm and hand the fingers are part of the hand the upper arm and forearm are joined at the elbow the forearm and hand are joined at the wrist leg the leg two as three parts thigh shank and foot toes are part of the foot the thigh and shank are joined at the knee the shank and foot are joined at the ankle new terms organ a part of the body that is used for a particular purpose we use our legs for walking so legs are organs we use our ears for hearing so ears are also our organs external organs organs that are on the outside of our body legs arms ears and nose are our organs they are on the outside of our body hence they are our external organs can you tell how will you walk without bending your legs at the knees can you comb your hair 
without bending your arm at the elbow movements of the body try to bend a wooden stick can you do so why not suppose that our legs and arms also could not bend would we able to make movements some of our body parts can bend that is why we are able to make movements which parts of our body can we bend try this stand in front of the mirror and move your neck as shown in the pictures the neck the neck bends forward as well as backward it turns left or right it also bends left or right arms we can bend our arm at the shoulder elbow and wrist the fingers of our hands can bend too that is why we can make a fist we can do many things with our hands we use our hands to write and to pick up things mother shapes a laddu with our hands baby holds the rattle in her hand the waist we can bend our torso only at the waist we can bend forward at the waist that makes it easier for us to do many things we can pick up things from the floor tie our shoe laces and play games too legs our legs can bend at the hip joint the knees and the ankles our toes too can bend but not as much as our fingers we use our legs too for several purposes we use our legs to stand to walk and run we climb up and down stairs we hop and jump we work some machines to using our legs one task many methods try this one day you decided not to open your mouth at all to speak so you have to talk only by signs and gestures you are asked shall i leave or wait your answer is wait you are asked how's the curry your answer is delicious you are told the cats not feeling well your answer is 
what happened to it you are asked how's the weather your answer is i am feeling very cold we use our mouth to speak but when playing this game which parts of your body did you use to make signs what's the solution you want a box from a very high shelf where your hand cannot reach to carry out any task we can choose one from a number of methods of doing it if we cannot use the usual method we can get someone to help or we can use some special device somebody may find it difficult to do something we should then offer all possible help use your brain power what was the little boy able to do because tai picked him up i am unique there are countless people in the world but all of them have the same body parts even so no two persons are exactly alike that is because each one has a different figure and form there are differences in height and weight hairline and the features of the face in the whole world only you look like yourself did you know this do you know sometimes twin brothers or sisters look exactly alike but even between them there are small differences what we have learned head torso legs and arms are the main parts of our body chest abdomen and back together make up the torso the head legs and arms are joined to the torso the part of the body that joins the head and the torso is the neck the arms are joined to the torso at the shoulders and the legs at the hip joints our body parts can bend at certain places that makes it possible for us to make different movements our body makes various movements with the help of the neck arms legs and waist always remember our body helps us to do all our tasks so we must take care of our body